you're going to be a wonderful person to work with, then that's it. You will not get hired for the job. It doesn't matter about your GPA. It doesn't matter how many times you took the inquest. It doesn't matter how many questions you took. None of that matters. Right now, the only thing that matters is you. Can you sell yourself? Are you convincing? Are you somebody that to make any mistakes? You just don't get that many chances anymore, especially at home to make any mistakes. You just don't get that many chances anymore, especially on the other video but one of the first tips that I gave in that other video was to google very hard interview questions so the first tip that I have for you today is now this is expanded on the other video but one of the first tips that I gave in that other video was to have sort of a monologue prepared now Having the monologue prepared is one thing. Try not to write it word for word because then if you mess up on one of the words, you're gonna be like, oh no, <laughs> crap, I forgot one of the words and then you're gonna like look really nervous. But one thing that I do is I visualize myself actually going into the interview, feeling confident, amazing, and I visualize how I want to feel. I don't know what's going to be going on. Like I can't visualize everything, but I can visualize a few things which are probably guaranteed. guaranteed Guaranteed number one, your probably going to have somebody with a very tight lip staring right back at you. Interviewers always kind of seem like they have something up there. Anyways, so. I always visualize myself feeling incredibly confident with somebody that is sort of mean looking back at me. And this really helps me anticipate the road ahead. Now, if somebody is looking back at me that has a kind face, that's just an added bonus. But I've already prepared for the worst. So if the worst... So just expect that. You can have one person, two people, three people, all staring back at you with these like really strangely negative faces. And you still need to stay positive, confident, and not let it bother you. Now, in addition to their negative faces, I also visualize them asking me incredibly difficult questions. And then I visualize myself thinking quick on my feet and being able to answer their questions in a very coherent, wonderful way feeling absolutely amazing and doing an outstanding job. And when I'm done, I just sit there and I let them know that that's the end of my answer. Now, one other thing that I do is I imagine, even with those tight faces and those like piercing eyes, I imagine surprising and intriguing them. I imagine just finding a little twinkle of that. Because you know what? If you're looking for it, you'll find it. And if you don't find it, you'll just make it up and it'll make you feel better. So, that's okay. <laughs> One of the most important things I try to do is I try to find interesting ways to answer the questions. My goal is to have them think about this. Wow, we could certainly use that around here. So, okay, what do nursing units need? Nurse make any mistakes. You just don't get that many chances anymore. It's details. Learn more about the job in the job description. Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to go over some interview tips. You have to prepare for the interview. You have no choice. You are going up against people that are preparing. So if you're not prepared, you will stand out like a sore thumb. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Reload. Reload is a nursing recruitment company that gives you the outstanding opportunity to easily connect your friends or people that you know with jobs in your area. And when you refer somebody, you can actually get a huge the first tip that I have for you today is now this is expanded on the other video, but one of the first tips that I gave in that other video was to Google very hard interview questions. And what you're going to find is a lot of open ended questions like tell me about yourself or what led you into the nursing profession or something like that. So you need to have sort of a monologue prepared. Now, having the monologue prepared is one thing. Try not to write it word for word because then if you mess up on one of the words,